What's up guys, it's Frenasian Spy here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing small modern house in Minecraft. So, uh, I don't know what else to say because I'm terrible at intros, so let's just get into the video. Alright dudes and dudettes. Now before we begin, I would just like to direct your attention to that shiny subscribe button that is just a few scrolls down from where you're watching this video now. Please subscribe. I want to reach 100 subscribers by the end of February and I'm sad and I have no friends. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I'm kind of sick and uh, sickness is trying to troll me, so subscribe, yeah. Okay, so I don't know how to work mechanics. So the materials you'll need are going to be smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slab, gray concrete, black stained glass, black stained glass pane, sea lantern, iron trap door, and polished deep slate. So we're gonna start with the gray concrete, and these are the only are these are only the materials for the exterior. We'll we'll do the interior later. So. We're going to place one block of gray concrete here, and on top of this, we're going to add 11 more. So it'll be 12 in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11. So that should be 12 in total. Count it. I'm, uh, I'm not sure. All right, now two blocks away from here, you're going to place another one, and you're going to bring it up to the, if I don't misclick, you're going to bring it up to the same height as the other one, and you're just going to bring it across like this. So you have this big boy thing over here. Now you're going to use your black stained glass pane, and you're just going to align it with glass panes. Yeah, that's basically what you're going to do. I keep on missing the block. I'm sorry, this is so unsatisfying. Yeah, so you got that thing over there, that behemoth. So now you're going to go here, and right behind this, you're going to place 17 more gray concrete blocks. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so that should be 18 in total. And real quick, before I forget, we're going to go, um, let me see, one, two, three, four, and then you're going to place a hole here, and then you'll go here, one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to place a hole here, and then just break all these here. Yeah, this will be a window right there. Now, on the other side, we're just going to do the same thing. Uh, I actually don't do the same thing. I am being delusional. I'm sorry about that. Um, what am I going to say? Okay. Um, yeah, you could do it for now. Here, for now, we're just going to put it, just go all the way. Yeah, okay. Just go all the way here. And... Bring this all the way to that height over there, and you'll just bring it across. It's not that hard. All right. And if you're really dedicated, you'll watch this video entirely through, even if you're not doing the tutorial, because that's what uh, cool people do, and cool people always watch free nation spy videos. Right? Okay. So you do that, bring it across. And then you'll fill this in again with black stained glass panes. All right, there you go. Now for the ceiling of this, you're just going to go like this. So, you're, uh, yeah, yeah, all right. So you're going to place black stained glass, just one strip there then two layers and then another black stained glass and then two layers of gray concrete 
and you'll just do that until you reach the end. So I'll see you there. All right, now that we have that complete, we are going to add the window here. So I am misplacing blocks again. Yeah, so that's where the window is going to be. And I would think it's a wise idea to bring up the gray concrete, so we'll just do that. Alright, now that we brought up that gray concrete there, I'm trying to look at my notes that I have here because I can't memorize all the dimensions. Okay, we'll just place eight more black stained glass blocks on top of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once you're there, that is not correct. Yes, that is correct. You'll just bring this like this, like I just said. You do not need it to be explained thoroughly because it's not that hard. It's a literally Minecraft. It's a video game. Get better. Um, yeah, we'll just... And then bring all the black stained glass across here. There is going to be a door later when we do the interior. That's for the interior. And guess what? We're not doing the interior. So let's just move on with our lives, all right? All right, now that we're done with that there, we are going to make kind of the outdoor patio. So you're gonna go one block in from the front over here, one block in, and once you're one block in, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth block, you're gonna place a smooth quartz block, and you are going to bring that up nine blocks. So let's go. Well, so that's one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you're gonna place a smooth quartz stair on that. Then you're gonna go and place a smooth quartz stair upside down like that. And then you're gonna bring your smooth quartz slab all the way across like that. And it should line up with the skylight. So now you're gonna make, you're basically gonna duplicate this so it matches up with each of the skylights that we have. So this is going to happen six times, six, five more times. So I'll just time lapse this. All right, now that we're done with that, yes, I did place it a bit too close here. In my original, I didn't. And yes, I do have to build this twice because you need um, an original to go off of. But... I guess I built it too close to this. That's fine. No one cares. Okay. I'll actually, I'll also leave the seed and the coordinates for this. So you can build it exactly where I built it. I kind of flattened it out here, but you can do that. It's not that hard. So yeah, we've got all those there. And now we're going to take our polished deep slate. And you are just going to cut this out. You'll also cut out these ones in between. You can also use a command if you have uh, if you know how to do it. I'm not going to tell you how to do the command, because why would I? And you're just basically going to cut all this grass out and fill it in with the polished deep slate. I'm not going to, because I want to make my life harder. Yes, this is how you guys do it, boys, okay? All right, so I'll meet you at the end. All right, now that we're completed with that, I forgot to do something. You are going to replace this grass under the glass, the black stained glass block, and replace it with gray concrete. So just do that real quick. I'm sorry if I misclick. Okay, I'm not a satisfying tutorial person. It, it, it's how it works. All right, now that we've done that, uh, we are going to work on the other side of the house, which is the more complicated side. And I have to go off my notes again, so this is fun. Um, I don't know. Just leave, I'll say, three extra on each side. You don't need the rest, unless I say so later. Uh, I just did the wrong thing. Okay, there you go. So now, how did I say it? So over here, you're going to place this. You're going to put two glass panes and actually, I would say bring this up here. So just bring this up to the roof. I'm sorry, it's not an organized tutorial either. But if you really want to build this house, then you will do it, okay? Because this is what's mandated of you. 
is what's required. All right, now that we've done that. So you're gonna place two and then just place another one up there. And you're gonna leave one space here and you're gonna place a smooth quartz block like that and just bring it up over to this. And you're gonna bring the black stained glass pane over here so it kind of looks like that. And I did it wrong. Do not do this. <laughs> Instead, do that and bring it out like this so it kind of looks like a glass door. So that's a cool design. And now we're also gonna place a few slabs above this just to make like a frame kind of. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now we, so that's a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go, you place a block there. So there should be one, two, three, four, five, six in total from this block to that block. And now that you have that, place a few glass panes like that. And we'll bring this up to the same height that we have these, I think. If I'm not being stupid. You'll just place another layer like that. Yep, there you go. And now you just fill this up with the glass panes. And yes, this is tedious work, but who cares? All right, so now that you have that filled up, you're gonna take your smooth cord slabs and just place it along the, here, like that. And you just leave one extra out here because it's gonna go around here like that. Oh, you can do that. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna place another layer of smooth quartz blocks like this, okay? And you are going to place your smooth quartz slabs on the bottom of the layer that we just placed. So it goes like this. So you have one full block and then it's a slab. So there you go, you have that. Hmm, <laughs> sorry. Now you are going to go, I am confused. I am confused by my own build, I'm sorry. All right, sorry, I was just a bit confused there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring this out four more blocks. So one, two, three, four. So it is like that. I am probably wrong, but just count it so you make sure you have 12 in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's 12. Okay, now place a layer of slabs underneath so you have three like that. So now you're gonna bring the smooth port slabs across like this and just one extra because it's gonna go around like that. So now, so you're gonna go over here. All right, so now you go over here. You're gonna leave two spaces like this and place one like that. Those are gonna be, that's gonna be a window. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna go place a block there and then leave two. And you're gonna place a block. That is that. So now bring these up to what I believe is the roof line here. Yes, that's true. Okay. And you're gonna bring this layer of smooth quartz blocks up until here. So now you have something that looks like that. So you're gonna bring your black stained glass panes and you're just gonna fill these holes that we have in. So let's just do that. All right, so now we have that. All right, sorry, I just confused myself there for a second. I have, do not have good notes. So over here, okay, so we have this. We're gonna add, I think, yes, we're gonna add six more onto this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, you have six more like that. And I believe on this one, we'll just bring it up one, that's one, two, three, four, five. Just go five for now. You're gonna uh, line up yourself up with this kind of like pillar here, and you're gonna uh, add an extra four. So it's the same height as that. 
And I believe I don't believe anything. Uh, you're just going to go like this. And you have that. And then you're going to fill this in with some glass paints. Because glass paints are cool. So now you have this ginormous thingy majiggy over here. And guess what you're going to do with that? You're going to fill it with glass paints. But first, we're going to bring this. If I can place a block, yes. Actually, I placed it the wrong way. So you're going to kind of have this ginormous hole over here. And all this is going to be one window. See how cool this modern house is? I know you want to build it, okay? So... I'm gonna bring your panes and you're just gonna bring it all across like this. So, yep, meet you on the other side. Alrighty, you have that complete, I hope. So now we're gonna bring our slabs just across like this over here. And we are also gonna add slabs at the very top so it lines up like that. I hope I did not leave hole. Thank you. And it's going to line the roof like this. That's where we have it so far. Make sure you have it all right. Watch to see if you have the proportions right. And we're also going to have our slabs just continue all the way here. So that's where we are at now. Now we're going to continue. And we are going to add an extra six. Yes, we're going to add six onto this. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, and then bring your slab like this. I did not click it. And you are going to actually fill this up until here. So you add two more layers, and then let's just go like that. Okay. And then you're going to use your black stained glass paint, and you're going to fill up this layer here with that. This is going to be a bathroom, and you need privacy when you're in the bathroom. I know everyone knows this. Okay, no one wants to watch you poop. This is this is a privacy moment here, okay? Do not do that. So now you have your slabs go around like this. And I believe that is how that works. So now, we're going to bring your smooth quartz block. But you're going to bring your smooth quartz block all the way to this big, giant, gray concrete thing we made. Yes. All right, now you're going to bring your slabs around it. Just do that. And now you will also bring this to here. And you will bring this to here. So that's supposed to be simple. I'm sorry if I'm making this tutorial very rigorous, but this is how it works, guys. It's not easy to do tutorials. You try doing one. Okay, and now... Basically, we're going to kind of mirror that over there. Just add the pillar two blocks in here, and then add your glass panes. You got that there. And you are also just going to add the quartz blocks. That's still the bathroom. It is not changed. It is a big bathroom. Please do not blame me. It actually looks good, okay? I promise you. You're going to love it once you build it. Yeah, there you go. You have that all completed and ready to go. And now over here, it's just a blank wall. Yes, it is. I just checked. I'm actually going to go outside. But, yes, we've been doing this correctly. It is just me contradicting my own self. So, yeah, you're supposed to have two kind of is in two. Yeah, now you got that, you can just bring your slabs across like this. And you can, okay, so remember these slabs that we had here? Yes, you're going to bring them across. I am pretty sure I did do that correctly. Okay. Bring these across like this, so you should. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. guys. Please do not contradict Fernandian Spy. He is uh, the greatest Minecraft builder to exist. Please, if you say anything else, I will literally cry. So, now we will put a hole here. 
One, smooth quartz block. Another hole, another smooth quartz block. Another one, another smooth quartz block. I'll break these slaps because they are not important and no one cares about them. Now, dig into each of these holes that we made. Now place sea lantern, yay. And now place iron trap door on top of them. Now these two materials will no longer be needed. And no one in the fault simply needed. Bring this all the way up here. I had this little design because the blink wall looked boring and I did not know what to do. See, look how much cooler it looks now. But yeah, now we have that. We basically have this done. Now it is time for the wonderful roof. Let us get this. I did that. Okay. I believe. Yes. But smooth quartz block, you are now going to fill in the entire roof. Congratulations. You officially completed almost the exterior of a modern house. If this is your first modern house that you built, thank you. I mean, honestly, I've never done anything this big. Or like I make something like for someone else to build. If you build it, uh, send me... Actually, you can't send me anything. Just comments say I enjoyed very much big build. Please make more. And if you say please make more, I will make more. I will make more tutorials. Church tutorial coming soon. So if you uh want to see that, subscribe. Please subscribe. I am begging you with all my mercy that I I don't know what I'm saying. But please subscribe. Okay, now that you finished uh filling that in. Done that. So now you're gonna use your cray concrete. And you're just gonna do this here because why not? So yeah, you have that filled in. Now go inside and take this as well and just put this in three concrete because why not? Yeah, and we kinda have this almost done. Um, so for the exterior, the, the exterior basically, well, we're gonna consider this part of the exterior, and we're just gonna uh, for now. Just bring this across and fill it in with quartz. Just fill this entire floor in. So yeah, I'll see you again after this time lapse. All right, guys. So that is the exterior. Uh, well, now the interior is coming up in literally like two seconds. So uh, yeah, I think that's it for the exterior. So yeah, uh, interior coming up in like three seconds. So let's just. Go on to the interior, my friends. All right, guys. So as we move into the house, this is what our interior looks like. And right now we're going to work on the layout for the interior. So firstly, we're going to make the floor spruce planks. So basically, you're just going to uh, make this entire first floor spruce planks. Make sure to get the blocks under the windows, too. And yeah, so I'll see you when I'm done with that. Alright, now that we're done with that, I want you guys to add one layer of gray concrete here. So we're just going to do that. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make the door to the patio that's outside. So you're just going to leave one block over there, and you're going to go cut out a 2 by 3 hole, and you're just going to use glass panes, pull one like that, so it looks like that. Then you just add one like that. So you have a nice door to the outside patio. And I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird. I'm kind of sick, so yeah, there's that. Uh, the sickness is kind of trolling me right now, so sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird, but I want to get this video out. Um, so now we're going to make the staircase to the next level, but before we, uh, actually, never mind, we'll do that after. Uh, so you're going to leave one more glass block here, and you're going to go right here, and you're going to make, put two stairs like that, so you leave one there in the door. Then you're just going to put stairs going up. And then the, oh, sorry, uh, there you go. So now you're going to end right there on this glass block. And then you're going to take your smooth quartz block 
and you're gonna put two and then another two and then upside down cord stairs then you're gonna use your white stained glass paint and you're just gonna put this right here now to make the stairs look better so they don't look like poop uh, you're just gonna put upside down stairs under these so it looks better so yeah there's our staircase now let's go up here so from up here you are just gonna uh, delete two concrete blocks like this until this big thing that we have over here and you're gonna add stairs here so now that it looks like this you're gonna put upside down court stairs going like this on this over here oh sorry so it looks like this and then you are going to add a smooth quartz block layer like so. Now you're going to add white stained glass panes as the railing just going across like that. Now on this level you're just going to fill all this in with spruce planks. So I'll see when I'm done with that. Okay, there you go. Now that we're done with that, we have a nice staircase going up to your next floor. So now, let's take our smooth quartz block, and we're just going to make a wall going across here. So let's do that. I cannot do anything. And if I'm not making my usual jokes, I'm sorry. I'm just brain dead right now. I'm just following the instructions I left for myself on how to do the tutorial, so. Yeah, we're doing that. Okay, so now we're gonna leave a door like this. Uh, actually, you're not gonna do that. You're not gonna cut out those. So you just have a two by two door here, and you are gonna do that. So it has a nice door to what will be our bathroom soon. Then now you're gonna count five blocks going that way. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to make another door. Yes. Make sure you have three blocks of quartz over here. Not including that one over there. So just three over here. So yeah, now we have two doors. And over here, just make sure it's correct. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Now our wall is just going to go where we have this thing dividing this and this. All right, so that's it for kind of this. Um, also, you're going to need polished diorite, so just get that real quick. I forgot to put that in my inventory. And you are going to delete this floor over here and replace it with the polished diorite because this will be the bathroom here. And bathrooms usually do not have wood. They have tile. But yeah, let's do that. All right, now we're complete with that. Uh, yeah, that's it for the, what should I call it, the first floor's layout thingy. So, yeah, now we're going to do the interior for this first floor here. So let's go to there. Okay, guys, so the materials you guys are going to need for the first floor interior are wither skeleton skull, quartz stairs, quartz slab, Black banner, flower pot, blue orchid, cyan carpet, sea lantern, white stained glass pane, light gray carpet, lantern, dark oak trap door, end rod, gray carpet, strip dark oak log, item frame, black carpet, gray banner, hopper, lever, fern, polished blackstone pressure plate, and a painting. So let us begin. So with the quartz, uh, whatever this is, you're going to put three like that. Make sure it's one block away from here so it doesn't connect to the window. And then you're going to add two more like this so you have a nice little couch. Now break this and put a black banner there. And then put the stair over it so it looks like a, a little pillow. Okay. Now, you're going to use your white stained glass pane, put one right there, and then we're going to take our light gray carpet, 
do I put this there for now? And you'll put it like that. And then you're going to cut out a hole around this, like how I did it. So you have like a nice hole around here. And fill it with sea lanterns. And then we're going to put carpet over it so it gives off some lighting in the house. All right. Now we're going to put our cyan carpet over this so you don't see the sea lanterns and it's just carpet, but you still have some lighting here. So that's you could use that as inspiration. All right, now we have a nice couch. Now over here, we're going to put our quartz slab. And I believe, yes. We're going to put one slab there, one slab there, one slab there, and one slab there. So we have this. Now take your white stained glass pane and put it across over there like so. Then take your gray carpet. We'll replace that for now. And put it over this so you have a cool little table. Then take your dark oak trap door. And put it down up against this so it's like a backrest on the chair. So there you go. Now you have a little dining table. Then take your end rod and make sure to line it up with this over here and put it directly above so you have some lighting. All right, now take your stripped dark oak log and we'll just replace a few of these things here. Take your item frame uh, your fern, your gray banner, black carpet, lantern, hopper, and we'll have to take the others later. All right, so take your port stairs, put one there, and then take your stripped dark oak log and put it across here, and leave one... Uh, block over there so it doesn't connect to the window now uh, i forget put your lantern there and put your flower pot and a fern over there so it's a nice decoration now take a brewing stand because i literally forgot to do this uh we can replace that and put it here so it looks like some coffee machine or something that does something in the house now take your hopper put it right here you have this cool uh, thing over here and then take your lever or lever however you want to pronounce it now you have a sink and then you're going to take your i did not get a quartz block so whatever what you're going to do ah uh, okay so get a block of quartz a regular block of quartz not the smooth one that we use for the walls and across here you're gonna put it like that and then you're gonna get a birch trap door and line it like this so you have some cool cabinetry all right now with this, we're going to use our item frames, put them across like that, then put your black carpet and make sure to twist it around this way so you have it, and then it's going to look like some drawers that you have to store stuff. Oops. Then put your banner over it, and like that. Now we have a kitchen, dining room, and living room. Now take your quartz stairs. We're going to go over here and make a little table. So just put them like so. Do not do that. Put them like so. Put your flower pot here. Take your blue orchid and your wither skeleton skull. Put one there. And like that. So you have a little table. And now you can enjoy your table. Yeah, all right. Now we're here under the stairs, we're going to make a secret little office. 
So take your quartz slabs, and this is going to make a modern little table thing. All right. And also take your dark oak trapdoor, cyan carpet, uh, painting, lantern as well, and your polished blackstone pressure plate. So that's what we're going to need for now. Now put the slab one block away from the thing over here. Put your dark oak trapdoor against it so it looks like a chair. Also, you're going to need your sea lantern. I forgot about that. Dig into the ground. Put your sea lanterns around. Then put your cyan carpet around so you have a little carpet. Now, you're going to put your blackstone pressure plate there. Your lantern here. That is not the right one. Um, here, I'll just do this here. Uh, okay. We want a little bit of a painting here. Just a one by one painting. You can choose whatever you would like. I'm going to choose. I broke that. Okay. Oh, well, I'll just use that. And then put your lantern back. So you have a one. It looks like a computer. So you can work. Cool. Now that we have that done, we have our first floor complete. So yeah, let's move on to the patio outside. All right, guys. So the materials that you will be needing for the outdoor patio are andesite stairs, andesite, andesite slab, andesite wall, quartz stairs, quartz slab, netherrack, flint and steel, furnace, campfire, lantern, white stained glass paint, gray banner, birch trap door, and light gray carpet. I might have forgot of something, but we'll get it if we need it. So right now we're gonna make a grill. So take your two andesite, put two andesite blocks right here. Then put your furnace in front like that. And take your andesite stairs and place them across like this. So it looks, you have something that looks like this. Then put your andesite slabs over here, andesite wall right here, and then take your lantern, uh, we'll put your place that, and put it right here. Now uh, break these because we're going to put netherrack. So you dig one down and then dig another down. You put netherrack here, light it on fire. And then your furnace like that. So it looks like there's something cooking. Okay, so now take your quartz slab and place four like that in a fashion like so. Then take your, don't take that, take your white stained glass paint and your light gray carpet. Place the paint like that, and place the carpet like so. So it kind of looks similar to the thing that we built in there. Then take your birch trap door, and we'll place it on the back just like we did inside. So now you have a little outdoor dining area. Enjoy. Now outside here, we're going to take over here so you're gonna take your quartz stairs and you're gonna put them around one thing like this and then you're gonna take your campfire don't do that uh, I literally broke it I'm sorry put your campfire like so and then Break each stair and put a gray banner under. So do that to each stair so then you have a little cushion. Alright, so that's it for the outdoor patio. So it's looking like something like this. Now we're going to move on upstairs and we're going to complete the bathroom. All right, my boys, so we are going to do the bathroom. 
And uh, first things first, I forgot to put the lights up here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put two levers like that right after the first skylight. And you're going to do the same on this side. You're going to put two levers after the first skylight. Then you're going to put an end rod like that. It looks like it's connected to it. And then you're just going to place end rods all the way until you reach the other lever. Then you're going to do the same on the other one. Okay. Very strategically place it and then alternate it again. So that you have this cool light fixture up here. Now we're going to go up here and I forgot to do this. We're just going to put a nice table here, put a flower pot right here. And a wither skeleton skull. So now I have a little table over here. Now let's move on to the bathroom. Over here, we're going to place one block of quartz. Then you're going to take take your hoppers. And let me just get my... Yes, I have them. Have your hoppers like that. And then you take your block of quartz again. Like so. Then you're going to take your levers and place them down like this so that you have a little sink over here. Then take your birch trap door. Shift. Now it looks like cabinetry. An end rod right there. And a light gray banner so that it looks like a towel. Then you're going to put a flower pot over here. Place bamboo inside of it. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to make a bathtub. So we're going to place stairs all around like this. So it looks like this. Then place quartz slabs. And we're going to waterlog the stairs. So it looks like someone's been taking a bath. I did that on accident. I did not need to do that. Alright, so there's our bathtub. Then take uh, your block of quartz, place two like that, then place an upside down quartz stair. We'll put a lantern, and also take your birch button. So that looks like a bar of soap, and then a towel. All right, so that's what we have. Over oh, and I forgot the tripwire hook. Take your tripwire hook and place it like this. Now we're going to make a toilet. So over here, place that. Then take a heavy weighted pressure plate and a stone button. So there you go, that's your toilet. And then the thing to flush it. Then take your sea lantern and gray carpet. And we'll make a little carpet. So two by three over here. Place the sea lanterns there. And then you have a gray carpet. So there you go. That is the bathroom all ready and set to go. Now we shall move on to this bedroom. All right, guys. So as we move into our final room to build in the house, here's what the materials that you need. Block of quartz, quartz slab, quartz stairs, flower pot, lily of the valley, Lantern, sea lantern, light gray carpet, burst trap door, painting, red banner, black banner. So let us finish this room. So you're going to place two quartz stairs like that, and then two more like that. Now take your black banner. Uh, I'll just place it here, whatever. Um, so take your black banner and place it inside these stairs over here that just... Put your stair back over it. So it looks like cushions again. And over here we're just going to make a little storage area. So put two blocks of quartz in a quartz slab. And then take your birch trap door. So you have a little cabinet. And we're going to make our bed. 
So we're going to put two quartz stairs like that and a slab on either side. So it's a nice little modern bed fixture. Now take your red banner, your painting, and I'll, oh, I forgot, a red bed. I forgot that we're going to need that. Um, so take the beds down like that. Then also with these uh, stairs, I did not finish using those. Put these in, put them at an angle like this. And you have cushions like that. I know it's glitchy, but whatever. <laughs> at least you know it's red. Um, then over here, place a nice little lantern. And then a flower pot with our lily of the valley. And then we're going to place a nice little, that's the wrong painting. We are going to have to, I like the ocean skull one for this type of room. Then we are going to finally make our carpet. So we'll just place it around like this. Just cut out a hole like this. This is the hole that I'm cutting out. I might even uh, limit it like this. There you go. I think that's a nice size carpet. And place the lanterns in it so that you have some light coming out. That is not. All right, and then take your light gray carpet and place it over like so. So yeah, guys, now that we're finished with that, we have completed my first tutorial on the channel, This Modern House. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, please leave a like if you want to see more tutorials like this. There's a church tutorial coming up soon, so if you want to see that, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.